Erratic and dangerous, towering fierce flames illuminated the night sky. A bushfire raging on two fronts flared fast, licking the outskirts of the southwest Queensland township, catching it by surprise. Dirrambandi's 600 residents were told to flee immediately. Pretty scary, pretty scary. Adrenaline set in and we were on our way. Many grabbed what they could, precious pets the priority, unsure when they'll return or what they'll return to. We slip in our car at the showgrounds um, because they didn't have any accommodation left for us to um, go to. Didn't really have a choice, had to pack up my dog and my partner and had to go. <laughs> Some stayed behind. Chloe Mason sheltered at a local pub with her mum. I'm actually kind of stuck here at the moment. I'm waiting for fuel to come so we are able to leave. On the ground, fire crews and locals with machinery fought to contain the inferno. Water bombers attacked from above. But the blaze pushes on fanned by scorching heat and fierce winds. It's going to get worse over the next few days. Um, we're uh, going up to extreme fire danger in some areas in the west. Relief at community meetings in nearby St George, where locals took shelter in emergency accommodation, waiting to hear if their homes had been spared. Everyone um, jumped in and done what they could and saved a lot of houses and that, so everyone would be pretty grateful for that. The mayor says a significant amount of land has been burnt. And we could have fire embers picked up and spread. So we're not completely through this yet and we have asked the community to stay vigilant. Any resources that are needed will be there and that is in the short and long term. And we want communities to know that we've got their back. This country community is rallying together. Oh, they always do, no matter what, and they will keep doing it. With the threat far from over and summer hasn't even started. We'll cross now to Toby Loftus in St George. And Toby, look, news is coming through now that from authorities that residents can return home. Yes, that's right, Lexi. And those going home have been urged to exercise caution if they do choose to return. Now, firefighters are comfortable. They've got the blaze under control and it's now at an advice level. Ergon has restored power to the town and mobile phone services are in the process of being reconnected. Now, all roads into the town have reopened, but the local hospital will remain on bypass until all those services are fully back online. Now, Lexi, while the fire is under control, there are still concerns that things may flare up from tomorrow. That's because heatwave conditions with temperatures in the low 40s are set to continue. Because of that, those returning have been urged to monitor conditions and pay attention to warnings from emergency services.